So you have a really heavy message coming out and I'm going to do the best to get this across in the best way. And then we'll clarify with tarot cards and I will do an extended on this for sure. in my Patreon, all the extendeds are there. Gems, there's, <laughs> there's something going on here. Sorry. <coughs> okay. Already. <laughs> it's interesting because this is the energy of the devil here already. Someone's trying to, or something is trying to prevent me from explaining this because it is difficult to explain. Um, this is what I feel. I feel you have someone on your mind that you have a deep, deep, deep connection with. And I'm not saying it's bad. What I am saying is that you may be quite attached to this situation to the point where it's kind of distorting your energy or throwing your balance off, okay? You could have a very strong sexual connection. This could be with your twin flame. But there's a problem here because it's kind of like the forbidden fruit, the Adam and Eve energy here. I think that this has really kind of taken over. This energy has really taken you over, at least. I'm going to talk about you. And what this is talking about is almost a need for isolation here, okay? It's time to isolate yourself. Um, in this card, and I mean, it's very telling. In this card, you see she's sitting here kind of under a little... Uh, a little, there's a little shelter here. She has the wind chimes, some beautiful golden bubbles flying around. And she's just taking time to herself. And I feel that this is something um, that you need to do because only in quiet waters do things mirror themselves undistorted where you can actually, um, you can have a perception of clean perception of what's going on. There's a need here for you to really get to the root as to why you are so wanting this other energy. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Okay. And some of you are saying, yeah, because it's my twin. It's my person. I get it. But as you begin to understand your weaknesses and the reasons for them, they lose their power to control you. I feel like this is actually disrupting you because you are wanting it so bad because people want what they can't have. I, I, like it's very interesting. Okay. And now we have this energy here, number 38, and this is all about inner peace. Um, this is where it's leading. They're asking you to have inner peace. So the other message I'm getting here is almost like really take a look at why you're so addicted to this person or energy because you don't need to be addicted. You actually need to clean this energy up so it can be more balanced. Instead, it looks as though possibly the masculine energy in your life, if you are a feminine, um, is kind of holding, playing the cards, holding, holding the power here. And it's really driving you crazy. And I feel that's because this person comes when they want and then they shut you out when they want or something like that. Um, it's a little bit of a snaky energy but snakes are not bad, okay? Like there's an opportunity because snakes shed their whole skin, right? There's an opportunity for fresh start here, but I feel it's you, okay, gems? It always is you. Like check out Abraham Hicks. It's never the other person. It's actually also what you've created here, which is interesting, okay? Now, the final card, which is at the bottom, and I did check into that, and I do feel it's, it's relevant because here, see how there's the curtains that this person is, this court jester, is holding here. It's like you've kind of embraced it, embraced everything that's happened and just made peace with it and became vulnerable with it. And understand you do have an addictive issue here. There's some sort of an addictive quality to this and it needs to be cleared because no twin flame relationship or soulmate relationship is going to actually prosper. If it's like this, this is not, this is not healthy. Okay, so let's get into the reading gems. I hope you don't mind that little intro, but we're going to see what's coming up here. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple animal cards to start with. Um, and yeah, this is really interesting because we have the fire ants and we have this lamb. And this is about, it can be about forgiving, a sweet purity, innocence. I do think you're kind of you came into this situation um, wanting everything to be absolutely perfect, right? Wanting everything to work out. But now, and it's not that it won't work out, but your thoughts are taking over. So maybe there was some calmness, but it has come to a 
like a situation where you're feeling it heavy. You want this person with you all the time. Come on, gems, right? So I feel like the ants are just these little thoughts coming in to take over. They're going to try and take this light over. And it's really important for you to not allow that, okay? <laughs> and this could be representing that light, okay? Um, it's about surrendering, okay, as well as what I'm getting. So let's see what's going on for gems here. What is happening in this situation? Thank you so much for joining me. As I said, the extended will be on Patreon. We have double four energy. Now, there's something to this. There may be two different types of people here. Like you may be kind of a loner or like a very free spirit. Um, but what I am seeing is that the other person, probably the court jester, the one that's kind of controlling, I see them out. I see them with other people. I see them doing their own thing. And so this may be why you're wondering, like, what's going on? Why am I not speaking to this person? Um, I think this person occasionally just cuts you off at times. They you can go long periods of time without speaking. Let's see. Wow, it's it's really what I'm seeing here. I am seeing that you are coming up as this beautiful energy, very divine, very happy, but very isolated as well is what I get. You are kind of in your own little world, and that is fine. Um, and I do feel at times this person comes in, and then when you reach out, it's like they block you. Now, why is this person, but they're not letting you go, by the way. Why is this person doing this? Let's get to the bottom of this. Maybe it will help you, right? So this person could be very sexually attracted to you. Um, this person could be very, like, you know, maybe they focus on one thing in other situations. But when it comes to you, I do feel that this person has a very strong sexual chemistry to you. Um, even though they may know that you want more than that, that you are kind of someone of the heart. I do feel that this person isn't sure about that just yet. This person also may be working with other people and may be focused on other things. So when it comes to you, this could be a very sexually based relationship. Okay, let's clarify that more. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so what I get, um, and don't let this trigger you guys, you know, don't let it because we're going to clarify even more. This person doesn't know exactly what they want with you, which is why they sometimes put you on the back burner is what I'm, it's the best way to describe it, right? Um, this person could be very focused on work. There could be a lot of issues at work right now. So that's like their main thought. Um, maybe the people that they spend time with are work people, right? But when it comes to you, I feel like they kind of keep you in a cage or keep you away. And then they bring you out here. Okay, why am I picking up the snake? Here's the snake. So this person has a snake on the wand. I never noticed that either. So it's really interesting. They're definitely um, tied to you as well. There's it's, That's interesting here. Okay. Let's see. Let's clarify this some more. But yes, as I was saying, your person is not quite sure where things stand with you, Gemini. So that's part of the problem here, okay, or or the dilemma. Now, listen to this. This is interesting. There may be a bit of a secret going on, and this could be a hidden relationship. This person could have a wife or someone who's really controlling and watching them, okay? This wife may not be in the picture either. And I don't know if it's a wife exactly, uh, but it is coming up as the queen of swords. But there is possibly another person. It could be a controlling person who's not necessarily fully in the picture. And your person out there, I do feel, is, is quite single generally, but it is the Ten of Pentacles here, right? There is someone else. They're just not in the picture, is what I'm getting. So what is the deal with that? Let's see. Okay, gems. So five of wands. Okay, anything more? And the queen of pentacles. So what the thing is with this, though they they there may be they may be at odds or at, at arguing. Um, I do feel. Well, let me clarify before I speak ahead of my cards. Yeah, definitely. So this woman is coming up as the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles. This woman possibly is married to your person or this female energy, whoever this is, they're married. Um, and the problem is there's money involved here, right? Now, I'm also getting another message here. There is one woman that is coming up as this queen of 
um, swords energy, like the X or whatever, that possibly <laughs> it's somewhat over, but it's also not. Because even though it's over, the person's still there in the cage. Why? Why does this wife stay? And we already know it could be due to money. Nine of Cups, which is fulfilled. This person probably has everything that they want, to be honest, in this situation. What type of person are you dealing with? Who is this? I feel like it's a King of Pentacles type of energy. But we have the High Priestess and the Magician. So you are dealing with someone who is quite powerful, most likely a go-getter. Um, they, they set their mind to something. They set their vision on something, and they go and get it. They may not talk about it. This person may also have a lot of secrets. This person may also... Um, be somewhat manipulative or very like powerful is what I get with me asking what type of person are you dealing with and you getting the magician and the high priestess that's really high power okay so let's see what else we have going on in this situation I'm going to ask about because I'm about to go into the extended but I'm going to ask about this wife thing okay and the queen of pentacles could very well be you it may not be the wife right but I just saw the clock the time is is clicking there time is ticking in that situation but anyhow let's see the wife energy I'm looking at the queen of swords okay let's see heavy already so we have the hammer I feel like this is about like you know kind of being hammered in like uh, it's it's there right we have the snake showing up once again um, talks about other the other woman with the passion and the cassette energy so wow okay this is what I'm getting you possibly are dealing with someone and they are kind of a love bomber because it's not that they may be chasing you I don't really see that but I do feel like when they want something they they ask you to come or they call you or they you know but otherwise they may be a one-sided relationship type of a thing okay this person may be like that in general they get what they want they do what they want okay that magician and the high priestess very powerful now we do have the snake and what I'm also getting is um, a snake charmer energy, but it talks about the other woman. It talks about being clever. It talks about competition. It also with the cassette talks about outdated thinking. You might be dealing with someone who has a different outlook on relationships. Maybe they don't want to be married. They are, they want to have two people maybe even, right? Let's just clarify that quickly. I want to know a little more about that. The eight of pentacles. And the emperor. So what I really get from that, um, okay. So this person, the money may be in someone's name. Okay, let me just see this for a second. The eight of pentacles. I feel like these people started a relationship working and they built something together, maybe even a wish, maybe even a dream. But I also feel like, you know, this is more karmic than anything because clearly this person doesn't want to be there. But this person is a bit selfish is the word I'll use. I don't use narcissistic, um, higher fit. This person may be very connected. But like I said, when this person has their eye on someone, they go for it. And here is the king. I wanted to see, but we have emperor, king of pentacles energy here. Like I said, this person, it's almost like a spoiled energy because they can buy what they want. They get what they want, gems. So in the extended, I'm going to 